Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking our first look at the brand new, all redesigned 2025 Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL travel trailer. They did a whole new look on the outside and the inside this year, along with some new features. We're gonna take a few minutes here, run you through the inside and outside, kind of show you what this thing's all about. And we'll even close it up at the end and show you what it looks like with the slides closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the all new redesigned look of the 2025 Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. So kind of first things up here, it's going to be pretty much from the floor up is all changed. We have new flooring, new furniture colors, new wood colors, new countertops, new lighting system in parts of the RV as well. Even have little lights here on your countertop area. Pretty cool little setup. So be sure to tell me down below what you think of the new look. If you like the new look, as we're kind of going throughout the RV here, um, if you've been looking at the Alpha Wolf and you like the old look, you better go buy one quick because they are no longer making them like that anymore. If you like the new look, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys, because they will definitely save you a lot of money. But that has a turbo exhaust fan up top, skylight up above, ABS tub surround, foot flush toilet, has that black safety glass entry exit door with the uh, window built in and they do make a Lippert thin shade that goes in there so you can get that aftermarket. AC duct in here as well. Let's get in here and kind of spin around. There is enough room to kind of come in here, get dressed, move around and kind of do what you need to do. All new wall board here in the shower area, or well, in the bathroom area. Over here, you got your little bunk area, and you're gonna have a window up top here. There's an electric outlet, a USB, and a USB-C charger port up there. Same thing down here, you're gonna have a window. Now this window down here does open, and over there you got your little uh, hookups there. Now they put in this drawer down here. So this is a little different. So the kids can kind of stash maybe some of their clothes or toys or something down in there. And you have a ladder built in and this just flips out. I didn't get that out so that I don't actually mess it up. But uh, very important when you do close it up, make sure that you do put the ladder away because the slide out will damage it. Over here, you're gonna have pantry and you have all new look for the darker doors here. Big pantry, there's a light inside of here. But a whole lot of storage there for your food. Get you kind of a close up look here of the furniture. So this is kind of a cloth material here and then you got that kind of pleathery stuff over here. But a nice little setup here. U-shaped dinette. You have storage below the dinette area. Drawers that pull out on each end. It will go down and make into a bed as well. Large windows with the blackout roller shades on those right there. Over here to the sofa, there's storage underneath of that as well. It will flip down into a small bed, and it also has a little armrest cup holder thing there in the middle. Now over here in your kitchen area, you're going to have that 10.7 cubic foot Furion refrigerator, which a lot of people are using that, so you're probably used to seeing that. Electric box, the breakers and fuses. The heat ducts come out the cabinets and stuff and not through the floor, so that's a little different. Um, you're going to have the Furion 
oven with the glass front, does have a light inside, the light up knobs, three burner cooktop. You also have three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers coming out the side right there. A little bit of storage underneath. They went to this cool sink. So you got a little cutting board thing right here. And you're gonna have a little strainer cover. A couple other little goodies here as well. You also have that little cup cleaner. So it's kind of neat, a little different. Uh, you also have the high rise sprayer faucet thing there. Now these uh, little valances here, these are actually metal this year. It's a little different. This one was ordered with a ducted AC and also a second AC you'll see when we get to the bedroom. So GE air conditioner ducted with the wall control and it also has the furnace control on that same control just over by the TV. The second air is a drop-in AC you'll see when we get to the bedroom. Now, kind of looking up here, you can obviously see a new light system. Uh, this light system is a little more expensive than what they used to use. Uh, it was basically throughout the RV were these little round lights, but they went to this new light system. Very nice looking. They have a dimmer, so you can lower them down, kind of set the mood the way you want it when you're in here. And that is controlled over here. So you're gonna have a slide button, awning in and out button, your switch for these, and you can again dim them down. Little voltmeter here telling you what's going on with your battery, tank heaters for the cold weather camping, water pump, some light switches, monitor panels for your holding tanks, your on-demand water heater controls right here, and you also have a 12 volt outlet right here so you could plug in something there. This swings open, so you have some shelf space back in there. Electric fireplace, you're gonna have, again, a little metal shelf up top there. TV, little coat rack holder over there, and you also have down below the dustpan central vac setup. Moving into your bedroom area here, you're going to have overhead cabinet space, a drawer on each side, and a little hanging closet setup on each side. So they use that same paneling across the front area here as they did in the bathroom. Got that large windshield on the front as well. Window on each side of the bed does open. There's also, you kind of see it back down in there, little cubby area back there where you could set some stuff, but you have electric outlet and USB charger ports back there too. Now in here in the bedroom area, we have those same light strips on the ceiling the little round lights above the bed, that second optional ducted AC right there. And then we're gonna have a little motion light down below. Squeeze around here. We got uh, another hanging closet back here and some storage. There are TV hookups here. So if you wanted to mount a TV here, you could, and you feed the wires through to the other side. But overall, a very cool new look, I think, anyway, for the new 2025 Alpha Wolf 26 DBH here. Now, I want to step outside. I want to show you around the outside. I did put some more information on specs and things down below in the description for you. Um, but we're going to step outside, show you around the outside, then come right on back in here and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2025 Alpha Wolf 
26 dbh travel trailer here we're going to start here on the door side and we'll kind of work our way around for you so first things up we have a white fiberglass exterior aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewall it has a lower kind of a silver metal skirting around there with black fender skirt now new graphics package as well and you also have those mirrored tent windows and you have those deep tent safety glass entry doors with the windows built in and those are lippert thin shade ready so you can get that aftermarket shade for those the unit has power stabilizer jacks in the front and also in the rear you'll see as we get to the back you have the little pet friendly leash latch holder right here pretty good size pass-through storage area here that's pretty nicely finished off you got the solar charge controller there docking light switch and then the light switch for the lights in the storage compartment there's a little laundry hamper basket there and then it's also prepped for a camera system so you have prepping here on the other front corner prepping above the entry door and then prepping on the back so you could do that furion four camera system on the rv if that interests you talk with your salesperson about doing that you have a large power awning here with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. Adjustable arm for tilting, manual override in the front arm head. You do have the heavy duty solid steps. This is the Lippert Solid Step 4.0 on this door and it has a 500 pound rating, adjustable feet, large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. And then you're gonna have this little outdoor area here where you have a mini fridge, a portable ice maker, and then you have a little shelf space here where you could put your portable grill. There's actually a gas line hookup right down here also. You can see those black aluminum wheels. You have easy lube hubs, drum brakes. Furnace exhaust out right there. There's a stove exhaust there. There is a cable outlet and an electric outlet right there. So you could do the outside TV setup if you want to. On the back entry exit door here, we have kind of the same thing, solid entry step. You're going to have the black tinted safety glass door there, and then just a traditional regular handle on that door. The power rear jack button down there, and again, rear jacks are power on the rear end down here. You have a two inch hitch receiver on the back, which is basically for like a luggage rack or bike rack kind of scenario. It is not meant to tow anything with. It has again prepping in that top center up there for the Furion rear observation camera. And then in the right side up there, you have prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. Over here, you're gonna have a little hookup area. So you have a place for your black tank flush, your gravity fill fresh water, your city water inlet, cable satellite inlets. You have a little light out here so you can see what you're doing at nighttime detachable power cord hooks up here hot and cold outside utility shower the on-demand water heater right there as well and then right here you're gonna have some storage this is underneath of the bunk area your dump area for your gray and black are located right here you have a dump hose holder down there and then just right up behind that tire right there is the fresh water tank drain also step back here so you can kind of see down this whole side a little bit but a nice size slide out here now you could do aftermarket a slide out awning cover to cover the top of the room if that interests you uh, talk with your salesperson about doing something like that the other side of your pass through storage here basically what you kind of seen on the other side for the most part except you do have the battery disconnect located right here magnetic holders again holding up the door on this side as well you're also going to have some very important informational stickers right here so for example this is the production date sticker it tells me this rv was built 618 of 24 model number 26 dbh-l we got a gross vehicle weight of 7,955 pounds. We have a dry weight of 6,000, 
837 pounds the way this one was ordered with these options. And it has an exterior length of 32 feet, eight inches. You have your tires here, ST205 75R15 D range tires with a 65 PSI cold. You have a new fiberglass front shell, three quarter, and basically have a large windshield in there, along with another LED glow light at the bottom, lower metal skirting here as well, power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chain, seven way barbed wire and plug, two 20 pound propane tanks with that hard cover, and then you got a room for one or possibly two batteries, depending on the size of the batteries. But overall, a nice, refreshing look for the Alpha Wolf product this year. They've had kind of the same old look for, I want to say, probably four years, roughly. Um, so it's nice to see a change up. Seems like that's an in thing right now in the RV industry. Let's take a few minutes here, run back inside, and close her up for you. All right, we are back up inside the new 2025 Alpha Wolf 26 DBH here. And I just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close things up, it's very important to make sure your floor is clean. You don't want anything in the way because the slide will run it over and tear things up. So all you gotta do is come right back in here to your slide button. And we're gonna hit the button. This thing's gonna come pretty much straight in and go straight out. Pretty simple setup for it. It's 12 volt powered. It only takes a few seconds for this thing to kind of go in and out. So if you're stopping at a rest area, um, you know, grocery store, whatever, you know, it could be real quick and easy to bump this out if needed to get to a certain area. That's all there is to it. So I could still come in here and I can kind of squeeze myself around to get to my refrigerator. I could come back here, grab something out of the pantry or load something in the pantry. I can get to my bathroom, obviously from outside in or vice versa. I could grab something out of the bunks if I needed to or their big drawer down there. I could probably get to the front part of the drawer. But I'm not getting to the master bedroom. So I could do a whole lot of stuff without opening the room, except for that master bedroom. I'm pretty much blocked off from that area as it is a very snug fit right there. But it only takes again a few seconds to hit the button and go on back out. And they don't have to run it all the way out if you're just trying to get by there to go throw something in there, grab something out of there or whatever. But pretty simple setup. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. As always, greatly appreciate it. Please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They should definitely be able to save you a lot of money on a new RV, and I know everybody should be interested in that. Thanks again.